Hello, my friends. Welcome back to The Morning Mindset. We are in the middle of a series about Christian behavior, and we've actually taken a little bit of a turn to talk about the mindset behind our behavior, because we need to get our minds aligned with the truth of God every single day as believers in Christ. So we're able to live on this planet with the power and from the identity that God says is true. If you notice the title for today's episode, it's God's truth plus your belief equals boom. I mean, you know what I'm talking about, boom. There are things in this world, you know, in the chemical world, especially that when you mix them, you combine them. There's a reaction. There's an explosion that comes from those two things. And God's truth and our faith, our belief really does provide this reaction, this change in circumstances and things happen as a result. We're going to be looking at Ephesians 4 verse number 24 to get our minds around this a little bit. But before we do, I want to remind you, parents especially, we have a parenting podcast that helps you do the same thing, helps you align your thinking about parenting with God's thoughts about parenting from the scriptures so that you can believe what's true. You can be in practicing what's true and boom, your parenting improves. You can find out more about that podcast by going to godfearingkids.com and subscribing and listening to the episodes there. But before we begin with Ephesians 4, verse number 24, I want you to pray with me. I want to invite you to join me in asking God to reveal to us what his word has to say. Lord Jesus, we want our lives to be transformed as you say they are. And many times our Our minds have a hard time conceiving of that because we don't feel transformed. But Lord, it's not about our feelings. It's about what you say is true and our belief of it. Because when those two things combine, your results begin to happen. And that's what we want. So guide us to understand today what is true, what you say is true. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, we've been looking at this passage in Ephesians 4, verses 20 through 24, actually, for three or four days now. And there is just so much here, but I want to focus in one more time on verse number 24, because the Apostle Paul has given us this illustration of putting off one thing and putting on another. And the two things he says we're to put off and put on are not illustrations, they're real things. He says we're to put off our old self, and he describes that as our former manner of life. Okay, so in other words, it's the way we lived, the way we believed, the way we thought, the way we felt, the way we behaved before we came to a place of faith in Jesus Christ. And at that moment of faith in Jesus Christ, something changed about you. Something changed about me when I placed my faith in Jesus. You see, our old self died, is gone, is no longer able to influence power over us. And we now have this new self, which we're going to dig into here in verse 24. And this new self is really a new identity. You know, when we think about our our sense of self, we're talking about who we believe ourselves to be, understanding with confidence the things that make us, us. Well, here in verse 24, the Apostle Paul says, our new self is created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. So let me ask you a very practical question, my friends. What would begin to happen in your life if you really, I mean truly, began to believe that you, at the core of who you are, are created after the likeness of God? What would begin to happen in you if you began to believe that at the core of your being, you are truly righteous? What would begin to happen if at the core of your being, you believed you were truly holy? Now, remember, I'm not talking about your behavior. I'm talking about your identity. I'm talking about who God says you are because of the work he has done in you. Now, put that in your computer and and calculate it for a minute. The God who spoke everything into creation did something in you. He created this new self. He created it after his likeness. He created it in righteousness. He created it in holiness. He has done something you could not do through placing his Holy Spirit in you. And he now says it's there for you to put on. Friends, when you take this truth 
and you add your belief. You begin acting as if it's true. I'm telling you, boom, God's results are going to begin to happen because you're going to see yourself stepping into circumstances and acting in faith in ways you never have before. And God's truth will begin to manifest itself in your life. Lord God, give us insight into this. Don't let us go off the deep end thinking things that aren't true. Root us in the truth of what you're saying here and help us to understand it so that your truth can truly begin to have an effect in our lives. And Lord, guide us in this. Give us insight and truth-based conviction based on what you've said, Lord. Guide us to understand it and apply it today. As our episode today wraps up, let me remind you of just a couple of things. First off, If you would like to know more about what it means to be a follower of Jesus and how you actually make sure that is true of you, you can go to morningmindsetmedia.com slash meet Jesus. That URL is in the description of this episode. And finally, let me remind you about that podcast that I mentioned at the beginning of this episode. That podcast and a lot of other stuff are included on our website, which you can find at morningmindsetmedia.com. Com. You'll find that link in the description of this episode also. Thanks, friends. I'll talk to you again tomorrow.